Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, I called the, the folks at Fat Nancy's. That's a tackle shop in Pulaski on the Salmon River. And I called them this morning because I figured they could give me the most pertinent information to pass on to all of you. And there's a few things that you should be aware of right now. You know, I've traveled over the Salmon River recently and I haven't seen anybody out on the water. And I said that to them. They said, well, no, most of the fishing now is in the very upper uh, upper uh, water area before it gets to the dam. That 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 is where all these fish that have come in from Lake Ontario, that's their final destination point because they can't go any farther. And that's where there's a, there's a number of guides right now that are fishing every single day. These, these guides have people in drift boats. And what they told me at Fat Nancy's was that they, they're never getting skunked. Anybody that's going out is catching fish. And I said, well, okay, how are you catching the fish? And they said, usually with spinning tackle because that's easiest for people to use. And they're drifting egg sacks or beads or flies of some kind. And here's the thing to be aware of. That water is going to fluctuate in its level and in its, in its speed of its current every single day, depending on what the dams do upstream. When the water's the highest... The water tends to be dirtier. And at those days, you need to use brighter colors so the fish can see them when the water goes down. And it has recently. It's been lower. It, it Then you can use more natural colors. But the point of it is, most of the fish that are going to be in there, what are those fish? They're either rainbow trout, steelhead, or they're brown trout. And these fish have come into Lake Ontario to feed on the, the, the residue of the whole salmon spawning season. They'll be in there all winter. There won't be a lot of new fish come in, but there will be if the water really comes up. Because that speed up of current stimulates fish to come in from Lake Ontario. But there'll be a big run again in the spring. But my point is that there's still some really good fishing in this river. Fishing that is world class and it's in the upper regions primarily, and I would advise two things. Number one, if you haven't done this before, visit a shop like Fat Nancy's where you can get advice on the right thing and the wrong thing to do, and if you could, if you could take advantage of going out for a day with a guide in a drift boat, number one, you're going to be safe, you don't have to worry about waiting, and you could probably have an experience that very few people in the world could ever have, and that is catch one of these magnificent Lake Ontario fish. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.